Your life operating instructions is a blueprint to self-actualization. And it's called your life operating instructions because we all have different lives that we're meant to live. But we sometimes have trouble, we have difficulty understanding what that is. We are each born with something within us that we're meant to offer to the world. And what we're meant to offer is our essence, meaning who we are. But we come in sometimes and we begin judging things. You may have picked up um, information from your parents, from your ancestors, from the places where you live, your countries or whatever it is. But then we start forming ideas or beliefs about ourselves, which are typically restrictive, restricted and limited meaning that we only have a certain amount of awareness as we're growing. We can see this quite easily as we're going through school, for instance. We know that there are certain times in our lives where we begin to understand things, we develop more skills, we move to higher grades, that's how we think of it, or we go off to college, we do all sorts of things. And every time we move, we're moving into a new aspect of who we are. We're moving into new elements that we may not have known even existed within our lives. Then as the world happens, meaning we're all living in the world, as certain events happen, that might cause us even more confusion because we might go into fear and doubt and uncertainty, and those are all the things that we wanted. Those are all the things that help us evolve and expand and become the people we were meant to be. So I received your life operating instructions as a guide to empowerment, basically. That's what it is. It's a guide to self-actualization. And the reason that it works, and this is why I talk about it in the way I do, because more, if more and more people understand what they have within them and start to own that and accept it, we create a very different world. But we have to break down certain things. I had to break down certain things. I had to break down my old programming, which was very limited, and that came from everything that I had lived in my life, from my family, from the places that I grew up, all of that were limited. But I was supposed to do more. Each of us were supposed to do more. We're supposed to be able to do more and accomplish more than our parents were. That is the way evolution operates always. But we get lost. But we also have something that we can use to cause us to self-actualize and I was given this program. We all have it. You might have something already that you're using, but you may not be using it consistently, and that's what I wasn't doing either. I didn't even know. But the way that this works is this. You are asked to figure out, to ask the questions of who are you? Why are you here? Why are you in the world? Now, there are very definite reasons for that, and they're very valid and valuable reasons if you were able to ascertain them. However, I wasn't able to do that. But because of that, it makes it easier for you because I was then granted this program. And what happens is you are given a question. You're given a thought because we only live in our thoughts. If you haven't figured that out, you will as you go through the program. We only exist in our thoughts. Everything else are things that we are um, illusions, basically. But Regardless, we know that we only experience anything in life by the way we, chose, we choose to feel or think about something, our perceptions. Sometimes they may have been off. You may have thought that this thing that you were born with, sometimes it's your body, sometimes it's the way that you look, it's your weight, it's your height, it's something that you have judged as being inadequate when the universe is saying, no, we needed that. That's why you're here. You've just been judging it because it's different than what someone else has. No, you're supposed to own it. You're supposed to figure out that it has value and you came to offer it to the world. That's how I see everyone. We came to offer something to the world that is of value. And if we do that, we start to create a very different world. And I was st struck by listening to um, several documentaries about our history. If you look at the history of the world, you can see that these transitions has hap have happened over time. And there was one that was really striking for me, and that was about Hitler, because that came out in one of my writings many, uh, some time ago. And we can see elements of that being repeated all around the world, where there are those who want to control some and others who are just thinking that they need to be controlled. And the 
what happens in that case is that we start to create autocracies, we start to create different types of government and all of that because we're not willing to own who we are. We're not willing to understand our importance. And so then those who think they can hold on to that will take over. I'm just saying what has happened. This is what's gone on throughout history. It's how we create civilizations. However, during this, those times, because we've gone through them, and we'll be in this one for a little bit longer, at least another year. So during those times, it's the best time for us to decide who we're going to be, decide to own who we're going to be, and put that into the world. Because when you start understanding quantum mechanics, for instance, we've gotten to quantum physics, but starting to understand a little bit of quantum mechanics, we know how the world is formed, how the world is created, and we each have an integral part to play in that. And when we're not doing that, then we give ways to dictators. We give ways to those who can control us. And this is the period that we're all moving through now. So I was granted this program that could give people the ability to move through their own limited thinking because that's all that it is it's only limited thinking and then there's we have to take into consideration our neuroscience the way that our bodies work because we're human beings and we all do the same thing so there's a process that we must move through to cause that to happen to allow us to see where we've been stuck where we've been limiting ourselves and then to move through that and then start to assimilate start to own that new aspect of who we are and that goes on forever as long as we're alive we're always able to ascend to move to that next level of who we are if we're willing to do that and I'm so grateful that I've been given a program that can help more people accomplish that and I know that that's going to make a difference in our world but what I would say is that I advise you to look within figure out what it is that you're here to do and if you're not answering that question you know well if you can't answer it with certainty then you would want my program because there I'm guaranteeing that you will answer it so that's where we are right now in our world and that's probably where you are in your life see you soon